from coloratedcinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create a cool Christmas tree using Particular just like this one. It's actually a part of a intro template that I made uh, that you can buy on our website, uh, but I will be going over how I created that template with a few part tutorials. Um, I won't be going over how I exactly made it because it took quite long to actually make it. Uh, but yeah, right now we're going to cover how I've done those Christmas trees. So let's get started. First thing I've done is create a new composition right here. Make it, um, well actually, we'll make it square. So that's 1920 by 1920 and then I will change it to Christmas tree. Make it around 15 seconds long and close it, uh, well, uh, click OK. Now we're going to create a new solid layer here and I'm going to rename it Christmas tree. Um, yeah, just Christmas tree is okay. And also maybe a background layer just to be sure, so BG for background. And Okay, there you go. I'm going to place this under my other solid. Click on the Christmas tree, go to effect. And here we do need a plugin, trap code particular. And that's this one right here. And yeah, uh, we do need that one for this tutorial. So if you don't have it, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, let's continue for this. I do have it. Now we are going to right click, create a new light object. I'm going to make this light type point and I'm going to rename it emitter because this is go going to be the name that particular is going to recognize. I'm going to click OK. And I will also uh, put this uh, a little bit more towards the bottom and press P on the keyboard to see it actually its position. Right click and create a new null object as well. And we're going to rename this to center part. This guy is going to be the center uh, for our light. I will explain in a second and make this a 3D layer. If you don't see that, just toggle the switches right here. Toggle it and there we go. So now we have um, our null object. I'm also going to reposition it more towards the bottom here. So there we go. And this is going to be centered automatically. If we press P on the keyboard, you can see it right here. I'm going to connect my emitter to my null object. And I'm going to zero out the position. Then I'm going to um, move it towards uh, the left. And let's say we have minus 450. I'm going to duplicate my light. So we have a second one. And here I'm going to change, well, press P on the keyboard as well to see its position and just make this a positive 450. And this is going to be on the other side of the null. So if this is the center, it's going to be uh, reflecting itself right here. Now what I want to do is uh, click on the center part, press uh, on the stopwatch for the position of the center part. And because these two are connected to that null, uh, they're going to follow with our null. So move ahead like uh, maybe let's say three seconds for now just position them up here and we can see that they actually follow along with this null object uh, we do see that null object has a different z so i'm going to zero out the z here uh, for our position of the light well, and I'm also going to zero out the Y here. Um, and actually, uh, currently I'm, I'm creating new uh, position keyframes. So that's not what I want. I will go to the beginning of my time. Well, actually, what am I doing here? Okay, so press U on the keyboard. Okay, just go to the beginning, press P on the keyboard for these two lights and make sure these two values are zeroed out. And there we go. So now it should be all right. Okay, click on the stopwatch for the position of the uh, null object. Go to three seconds and move this up. And now you'll see that they um, have the same Z uh, position. So, okay, now we have our lines moving with our null. What we want to do now is actually uh, position these uh, also. So go to the emitter, go to the beginning of your timeline and also click on the stopwatch for position. Go to three, th uh, three seconds and then just zero these out as well. What it's going to do now is just going to form like a Christmas tree model here. So now uh, our lights move in towards the center. Now I'm going back to my center part to so the null object, press R on the keyboard and we're going to play around with the Z uh, rotation here. Uh, well, no, the Y rotation, what am I saying? Okay, the Y rotation, I'm going to click on the stopwatch for the Y rotation, move ahead to three seconds and change this rotation maybe to something like three. And if we're going to, uh, well, uh, if you're going to play this back, we're going to get something like this, which is pretty cool. 
also going to right click new and I'm going to add a camera to my scene uh, just because we're working with 3D objects we can actually see that my camera is actually moving upwards uh, what I will do is just press P on the keyboard and just uh, move my camera down a little bit so uh, that it's actually moving uh, center wise something like this could work um, Okay, I like this. Um, well, actually, I don't, but we'll see in uh, at the end what we'll do. But now we can actually move our camera. Doesn't really matter at this point. I'm going to delete it for now. And we'll see afterwards what we're going to do. So I'm going to close everything down, right click. Um, well, actually click on the Christmas tree for the particular and go to the emitter here. In the emitter type, we're going to change it to light. And now it's going to follow along our lines because emitter is the name it's going to recognize. We're going to the velocity zero everything out here and now we have something like this pretty cool okay I kind of like this one I will keep it as it is um, go to the particle itself and change the size maybe to something like three and just move a well size random to 100 and also opacity over life I'm going to uh, just make sure that um, it's going to be ramped out like this so it fades out like so Cool. Okay, we have our particles that are moving out. Now we also want some straight lines. So I'm going to duplicate my Christmas tree here and just zero out the Y here and also the well, the velocity itself here <coughs> to zero. And actually, I want to do, do this one first, but as you can see, it's actually pretty cool that we have some particles flying off. So keeping velocity at 100 is pretty cool for the original one. We can also play a little bit with the random percentage here go back to the one that's zeroed out and now we have some straight lines but you can see that they these have some gaps which could be cool these could work as the the lights that we see uh, which is pretty cool but now it's completely up to you what you want to do if you want to increase your particles and really make them lines uh, you could do that um, actually I kind of like it how it's uh, not filled in completely uh, what I will do as well is click on my lights and actually uh, well and the center part and I'm going to uh, give them a color like blue and then I'm going to press Ctrl D on the keyboard to duplicate everything, put them on top and just change the color to something like yellow. And now I'm going to rename the emitter. So I'm going to rename it to light, uh, for example. And if we go to the center part, uh, well, it's okay. Um, I'm going to duplicate my Christmas tree here and I'm also going to change this color to yellow so I know that it's um, together with this uh, setup. And if we now go to options for that particular, we can actually change uh, the uh, light name here. So right here I can enter light and now it's going to follow our other lights. But as these are exactly the same as these, uh, you're not going to see any difference. What we can do now is actually press uh, U on the keyboard for all of these. So just click on all of these and press U. And um, well, we can or change the uh, keyframes and actually we can just offset it like this as well uh, depending on whatever you want but if we press U and we go to the end for example we can actually um, move the null up up a little bit or down just try to change it up a little bit here uh, maybe not center it completely here and if we go to the beginning we can offset um, our lights a little bit more here so I go to the actual keyframe I'm going to click on um, this arrow to jump to the first keyframe and then I'm going to just uh, move this one a little bit more to the right and this one more to the left and now we have like an offset here of our Christmas tree as you can see right here which is also pretty cool if you click on that Christmas tree here I'm going to increase my particles per second to something like 5000 um, like so and I'm going to change my linear to 10x linear because you can see right now it's not really smooth and if you're going to change that it's going to solve that here the size can be lower than uh, 3 something like 1 should be fine if we go down here to the physics we can open that up go to air and go to turbulence field and here I'm going to affect the position a little bit so uh, we can make it look like this uh, which is pretty cool um, but maybe a little bit too much to um, help with that we can actually lower our scale and that's going to um, make it yeah take longer before it actually does uh, something to um, our streak here so now we have something like this uh, which is pretty cool uh, we can actually duplicate everything again well actually just the Christmas tree um, well everything again just put this on top again and maybe offset this one 
and that way uh, we get something even different here. And yeah, there you go, you get a build up, which is uh, pretty cool. And of course, the more you stack, the, the cooler it becomes. And actually, if you want the project files, and uh, they're actually free to download with a link in the description. So um, you can go to our website, freebies, and then you will have the project file that I use in the intro, uh, completely free. Um, so yeah, if you want that, just go and check it out. But yeah, this way you get a cool Christmas tree. Uh, right here we have um, completely. And of course, after this, it uh, we want it to go to, well, we want it to stop emitting any particles. So we go to the end here of all the keyframes and go to each um, particular, click on stopwatch, move ahead one frame and just zero it out so it doesn't emit any particles anymore. So if we are going to press U on the keyboard, you can see it right here. And that's going to stop emitting. So we should actually do that for each individual one. So move one frame and zero it out and go to the other two. Um, go back one frame and actually I'm using page up and page down to do that so click on the stopwatch page down zero out and now we get something like uh, like this here if we zoom in there we go and then lastly we have one more so page up to go one frame forward again zero and then oh, well actually <laughs> at the beginning it should be 100 and then here it should be zero okay so now we have our Christmas tree um, without emitting any particles once it's done. So um, actually a cool trick if you hold Control H, uh, well Control Shift and then press H, uh, it's going to remove this for a second so you can actually see how it looks uh, completely. Uh, so that's pretty cool to work on it. Um, I'm going to layer new adjustment layer and I'm going to add some glow here. So before I do that, go back to the project manager, click here, uh, alt click here so we get 16 bits per channel or maybe even 30. Uh, 32. Go back to the adjustment layer, effects controls, and just add some glow here. Um, so if we add glow, we will get something like this. Of course, I'm going to lower the intensity something like 0.1. Duplicate it, change this to 100. Duplicate it again and change it to a thousand, for example. Well, maybe 500. And increase it. and play around with the intensity until you get something like this which is pretty cool and now we can actually add some color to it so um, if we're going to click on the adjustment layer I'm going to use a plugin which is free from video copilot which is called video copilot VC uh, color vibrance uh, which gives a cool color uh, like this you can do this with the curves as well um, but yeah, it's pretty cool to have it like this and now we get some color like a green Christmas tree and actually if you want to uh, you can do one last thing like uh, copy and uh, once again uh, the center lights and the Christmas tree duplicate it move it up and actually I'm going to make them red right now and click on the Christmas tree and here I'm going to press U on the keyboard go to the keyframe where it says five well says the actual amount of particles emitted going to change this to something like 50 and I'm going to lower everything so zero out the velocity everything should be zero um, and then also for the um, effect position also zero and I'm going to increase the size here to something like 25 just a cool experiment that I'm trying out here um, maybe something like 15 and change the sphere feather to zero so we have hard spheres like so and actually I'm going to lower this even more to something like 10 or even 5 and now we could actually um, duplicate or well actually copy all the settings that are on our adjustment layer so control A to, con uh, to select everything copy and paste it on our Christmas tree and now we have glowing green balls but if we change this to red we get some red Christmas balls in our three uh, in our tree here so that's also pretty cool um, of course you can go into particular and change the color itself here a little bit so it's a little bit darker uh, depending on whatever you want uh, you can do that right here so that's pretty cool uh, to do something like this um, yeah just come up with this right now I'm not sure if you like it or not um, but yeah um, just thought of mentioning it maybe add a little bit more feather Okay, so this way you can build up things. Uh, maybe you want these to be uh, gold or maybe some silver kind of look. Uh, 
and also for the Christmas tree you want it to be gold you just change this to a gold color here and there you have it of course I don't really like these balls just wanted to show you how to do it um, but yeah right here adjustment layer um, just make it a little bit more warm toned there we go so that's how we do it and now you can play around with the glow and yeah maybe make it even more intense if you want to and get something like this so pretty cool way of making a Christmas tree to animate on screen uh, using particular I hope you <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and actually if you create a new camera right now we can actually rotate around it so it's actually a 3d um, perspective here so we can go here in the camera settings you can orbit around if you want to. Actually, I'm going to change this to quarter. See, you can actually turn it around, spin it around. Um, yeah, so there you go. Pretty cool Christmas tree. Let's see how it looks like this. This also is a pretty cool effect you can use for different kind of results, so yeah. That's my tutorial for today. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel for more. And yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.